everyone. Um, I'm here to tell you about the Visual Rhetoric um, Project Group on behalf of the team members. Ty Alia, um, Marjorie Foley, Stephen Lemieux, Matt Riley, Jake Patachik, uh, Rachel Schneider, um, Jay Voss, and me, Lisa Gilasarian. We've had quite a fantastic year maintaining our blog and beginning our new partnership with the HRC. Viz began the year with an all new cast of characters. While learning to navigate our blog, we decided to make a Viz guide to posting. In addition, we at Viz reorganized and reframed the pedagogical content on our blog. Um, we further improved our site um, by soliciting guest bloggers to contribute their expertise to the blog. Um, professors Doreen Piano and Lisa Moore wrote about landscapes destroyed and cultivated, while grad student Dave Harper wrote about um, 18th century texts and how they relate to pop culture um, giants like Pinterest and The Hunger Games. Um, another innovation this year was our collaboration with the HRC Center. Um, going on special tours, talking to curators, accessing the Ransom Center archives, and of course, blogging about their collections was really fun. We also partnered with them to open up the museum space to the digital world. The partnership involved two separate projects. The first was um, creating QR codes and putting them in the HRC exhibition space to link to content that we had written about with the items in the exhibition. The other was to create image maps that also linked to our content. So, what HRC-related posts did we write? Um, after fostering a very productive and storied relationship with the HRC, Matt Riley, um, his time at the HRC culminated in a post called Researching the Card Catalogs. The Viz team also blogged about many of the HRC's exhibitions. Posts interacting with the Banned Books exhibit included um, Matt's post linking Pope's Goddess of Dullness to Borges's The Wall in the Books, and also Jay's post uh, interviewing Molly Schwartzberg about her process in curating the exhibition. As the HRC opened their exhibition on the King James Bible, Viz dedicated a week to posting about the Bible. Jay posted on the King James Bible's original title and front pages, while me, Foley, Ty, and Stephen wrote about modern art interpretations of the Bible. During the David Foster Wallace Symposium in April, Viz dedicated a week to Wallace's life and work. Joining forces with Ken Gerdes, Matt King, and Eric Detweiler, we blogged about artwork and music videos inspired by in Infinite Jest, Wallace's Kenyan commencement speech, and Wallace's own interest in tennis, architecture, and IRS fraud. <laughs> Anticipating the HRC's upcoming fall exhibition on the visionary designer and urbanist Norman Bel Geddes, we wrote about his models both giant and small. Ti uh, radios and automobiles, dollhouses and cityscapes. The Bel Geddes cityscapes posts inspired Viz to continue the theme with posts on real world metropolises moonlighting as future cities in Battlestar Galactica and Solaris, on Detroit in Chrysler's Super Bowl commercials, on Austin in Ecotone, and on participatory politics in the documentary Urbanized. Participatory politics were key in our censorship posts, which discussed the SOPA PIPA blackout, book burning, and bottlerized um, military issue editions. Our team analyzed visualizations and maps of internet censorship around the world, along with seals of anti-vice squads in the US. <laughs> Our posts on censorship remind us that some things are just too important to be censored. The, the year's tumultuous events were documented by Viz in a grouping of posts analyzing the emergence of Occupy Wall Street and its flurry of rhetorics. While the human was highlighted in our Occupy posts, Throughout the year, we've also been attentive to non-human subjects as well. Filmed insects and photographed horses, tattooed pigs and golden calves, carnivorous furniture and defecating machines. A trifecta of horsey posts, exploring the ons and ins and outs of uh, possible human-horse relationships was the highlight of the animal theme on Viz. Another theme was disaster. We began the year embroiled in them. The Texas wildfires were on our minds and on our doorsteps. 
for at the beginning of the fall semester. We blogged about the fires, the hurricane season, and then September 11th and its remembrances. A post on remembering 9-11 was just one example of analyses of mourning and sadness on, the, on our blog. Rachel examined a photograph collection of pastoral crime scenes, as well as tributes to Whitney Houston and, Leslie's, and Austin's Leslie Cochran. Ty explored visual representations of melancholia from 16th century artwork to the recent film by Lars von Trier. And then, without sports, of course, Jay would be pretty melancholic himself. <laughs> After the 2011 World Series, he blogged about baseball with posts on E.O. Goldbeck's team photographs of the 20s, World War II era World Series covers, and the Red Groom sculpture in the New Marlins ballpark. And Grooms' sculpture wasn't the only artwork that we discussed on Viz. We also discussed L. Enetsui's bottle cap weavings, Mark Chagall's apocalyptic paintings, and um, Jacob Lawrence's prints of the biblical story of Moses. All these things energized our staff. While Viz, <laughs> while Viz had quite a bit of energizing work this semester, perhaps some of our most stimulating and arousing material came from Rachel's posts on masculine bodies, including work on romance novel covers, the Ryan Gosling meme, the Man Ups photo series, and of course, the Men of the Stacks calendar. With such titillating posts, it's no surprise that Viz, with the, according to the data we've been collecting over a year, we have significantly increased the number of visitors to our site. High school teachers use our posts in their classes, Publishers thank us for intelligent posts about their products. We'd like to thank you for listening to our report on Viz and see you on the blog. Thanks. <laughs>